Accelerated Man is an alternate version of The Flash who originated on the multiversal world of Earth-19. Now fans of DC Comics and of specifically Batman will know this as the Earth scene in the monumental Gotham by Gaslight comic. Just like that version of Batman, The Accelerated Man is a Victorian era take on the Flash. Being a strong silent type, we don't actually know a ton about this version of the hero, including his real name. What we do know is that he attended a meeting with the Flashes of various Earths when the Flash of Prime Earth shattered the Force Barrier in Flash Volume 5, number 52. After this meeting, he would begin to wear a costume much more in line with what we expect from a Flash. On Earth-19, he was hunted for being a vigilante and would go on to help found a unique team similar to the Justice League, which included other Victorian variants like the Gotham by Gaslight version of Batman and a Victorian Wonder Woman. We love multiverses that are basically the same as ours. Tanakurei is a Japanese man from Earth D, which is a reality similar to the real world, as on this world, superheroes only existed in comics initially. Tanaka Ray's favorite hero was none other than the Scarlet Speedster, so naturally when Tanaka inevitably first received his powers, he drew a lot of influence from Barry Allen's suit for his own. He met his hero during the iconic Crisis on Infinite Earths event where Ray's world didn't survive. Despite that though, he showed that he was an incredible Flash as he fought alongside Barry to help save the day. This version of the Flash fought with Earth D's Justice Alliance of America, which featured a more ethnically diverse version of the Justice League, which coming from DC back then was actually kind of refreshing if it wasn't a little stereotypical. Back in the early 2000s, Marvel legend Stan Lee was given the opportunity to reimagine the key members of DC Comics Justice League in a series called Justice League. Imagine, and it was as wacky as you might think. I personally like this version of Shazam, but Mary Maxwell, his version of The Flash, is just as interesting. Mary Maxwell achieved her dream of being a superhero when she was inadvertently stuck with a syringe full of hummingbird DNA. Now, since, of course, hummingbirds' wing flaps are one of the absolute fastest movements in the animal kingdom, Mary developed incredible super speed that allowed her to dodge bullets, punch 20 times a second, and travel faster than the speed of light. She later helped form Stan's version of the Justice League and battle the Doom Patrol, who were villains in this Just Imagine world. If you have never read these comics, do yourself a favor and just go read them. Next up, Leah Nelson of the Tangent Universe, created by Dan Jurgens, was a celebrity from the moment she was born, as she was the first human born on another planet. Being born in space was actually what led to Leah developing her light-based powers and taking up the name of the Flash. She could move at blinding speeds by transforming herself into a light energy form. This sets her apart from the speedsters that we usually think of as she could also manipulate her light energy as photokinesis to do a number of things regular speed force heroes can't really do the same way. While she is without a doubt a hero, her heart was not always in it as she was torn between being a hero and being a celebrity in the form of an actress and a fashion model. She actually showed her acting skill when she tricked Jay Garrick into defending her during the multiverse event Countdown Arena by pretending to be a damsel in distress. Batman Beyond is absolutely one of the all-time classic animated superhero TV shows, and because of its popularity, the world it had created absolutely made it into the comics. This meant we got to see even more heroes from the 2040s, including a new version of The Flash. Her name was Danica Williams. First appearing in Batman Beyond Unlimited number 13 in April of 2013, Danica had aspects of both Barry Allen and Wally West, who by this time were both long retired. She had problematic enthusiasm for fighting crime just like Wally and was somehow always late for things just like Barry Allen. But speaking of those two previous flashes, Danica had a unique speed force ability among all the usual ones that allowed her to communicate with the flashes of the past, including Barry, Wally, and Jay Garrick. As you can imagine, having them as mentors gave her quite the edge. Now admittedly, this next version of the Flash is one that fans most likely have seen, if not just because because of his insane design, it's the fact that he was part of one of the coolest events that DC has done recently. In a reality found in the Dark Multiverse, known as Earth-52, Bruce Wayne Batman was at his wit's end following the passing of multiple different Robins. Believing that he needed to be more brutal in his crime fighting and that he would be better at using the Speed Force than Barry Allen, Bruce Wayne went to Barry to gain the Speed Force, but when Barry refused, Bruce took down Flash's rogues, took their equipment and then used it against his fellow Justice Leaguer. Batman then strapped Barry to his Batmobile, fused it together with the cosmic treadmill, and then he drove it all 
into the Speed Force, absorbing Barry and his powers. Bruce, now empowered with the Speed Force, became the Red Death and joined with the Batman Who Laughs and his Dark Knights. But from one evil Flash to another, the story Forever Evil is one I highly recommend you read if you haven't already. The story sees the villains of the DC Universe step into the heroic role to take down an evil version of the Justice League from the alternate reality of Earth 3. Each member of this crime syndicate of America is a sick and twisted perversion of their prime Earth counterpart, but of all of them, Johnny Quick, the stand-in for The Flash, may be the most messed up. On his world, Johnny Quick was a completely deranged serial killer, even before he gained his powers. He and his girlfriend at the time, who would go on to become Atomica, were on the run, cornered on the roof of Central City Star Labs when Johnny was struck by a bolt of lightning, which shattered the roof and sent him landing straight into some chemicals, which granted him his super speed abilities. He would then eventually go on to join the Crime Syndicate of America and, trying to escape the Anti-Monitor, they would invade the Prime Reality, kicking off Forever Evil. On Earth-11, all of DC's biggest heroes and villains were gender swapped. We've got Superwoman, Batwoman, and Wonder Man, who were the leaders of the Justice Guild, which included Jesse Quick, a female version of Flash. Now, more people may know of Earth-11's Jesse Quick, as she pretty briefly took on the role of the Flash in the mainstream universe before she became Liberty Bell. On her Earth, she also helped save the world from an Amazon attack led by Wonder Man. She is also the aunt of Kid Quick, the hero who would eventually join the Future State's roster of the Justice League as the Flash. But what I will remember remember Jesse Quick for is her role in the KFC sponsored story The Crisis on Infinite Colonels, when she used her cosmic treadmill to help Colonel Arliss Sanders of Earth-11 form the multiversal team of Colonel Sanders after the evil Colonel Sanders takes the memory of all but one of KFC's 11 herbs and spices from the brains of different Colonel Sanders throughout the multiverse. Very cool. Wally West is the fastest of all the Flashes. That is a fact in the pages of DC Comics. He could only really be rivaled by Barry. Allen, but even then, he's been shown to be faster. But in the Kingdom Come reality, Wally becomes something even more than that. After the retirement of Superman in this alternate world, Wally West just stopped stopping. Instead of taking breaks or even really slowing down, Wally just began running from crime scene to crime scene, going from wherever he was needed to wherever else he was needed next in Keystone City, patrolling its streets at a speed no one could even follow. He basically rid Keystone of all crime by just being basically everywhere at once. And even when we see him in the story, he's basically a blur of light, almost intangible. Before he became this incredible force of nature, becoming one with the Speed Force, he was able to have a kid, and she became the Kid Flash of the Kingdom Come universe. But if we are talking flashes you haven't seen before, then we are going to have some weird ones. And one of the weirdest speedsters in the DC multiverse has got to be Timmy Joe Terrapin. Timmy here was once just an ordinary turtle on Earth C, trying his darndest to catch a bus in Kornzass City. Timmy, unfortunately, was struck by a meteorite that fortunately granted him Super Chelonian speed. With his new powers, he was able to become the speedster known as Fastback. Fastback has appeared in Convergence and The Flash's Force Quest storyline. He also showed up when Barry Allen called a meeting of the multiverse's Flashes in the House of Heroes, pretty much confirming his place as Earth C's official version of The Flash. In his own world, he would also become a member of Captain Carrot's Amazing Zoo Crew, which is Earth C's version of the Justice League. And that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching on Top 10 Nerd. I'm Adam Andrews. Stay safe out there, and I will catch you all on the Flippy Flop. Peace out, nerds.